Hazard Awareness, Other Road Users, Part 1 This video covers Large Road Users Low Arched Bridges Driving Behind a Large Vehicle in the Rain Hi Ben, how are you today? Yes, not too bad thanks. How are you? Very well thanks Ben. I thought we'd get together today to talk about Hazard Awareness. This is going to be very useful whilst you're out on the road and will help you with your hazard perception test too. Junior is going to help me record a new video for my blog, so I thought it would be a good opportunity. Oh, hiya, Ben. Hi, Junior. OK, great. Now we're all here, let's get started. Hazard awareness, as the name suggests, is all about being aware of hazards around you. Now we might have covered a few things we're going to discuss, or you might have seen them whilst you're out driving, but there's no harm in going over them as being aware of hazards is so important. So let's get started with other road users and look at larger road users first. So, can you remember what they are? Lorries and buses? That's right. As you already know, you need to be wary of them because they take up more space and block more of your view. I just wanted to go over a couple of situations that you might come across. What do you think large vehicles will have to do when travelling under this bridge? Move over to the middle, as they probably won't fit under otherwise. Very good. When approaching bridges like this, you'll need to be aware that you might meet large vehicles in the middle of the road, and will need to be prepared to stop and give way. Will there be any warning on approach to the bridge? You'll normally see a sign like this. Ah, OK. So when we see this sign, we'll know that a large vehicle coming towards us might be in the middle of the road ahead. Or that a large vehicle we are following might suddenly move into the middle of the road. Spot on. Talking of following large vehicles, if you are driving behind a lorry or bus when it's raining, how much of a gap should you leave? A four second gap? Excellent. You'll also need to be aware of the spray that will reduce your vision, especially on a motorway or dual carriageway. What spray? It's when the large wheels spray rainwater on the road up behind them. So, a bit like a shower from the road? Um, yes, if you like, Junior. Right, let's recap before we continue. Large road users. They take up more space and block more of your view. Low arched bridge. Large vehicles will have to move over to the middle of the road. Be prepared to stop and give way. Driving behind a large vehicle in the rain. You should leave a four second gap and be aware of spray.